this one is a pocket holster and the emptied uh, Glock 43. So, um, this one is designed for the Glock 43. It is the uh, DeSantis Superfly. And it's like a two piece system, uh, two ways to be able to carry it in your pocket. Um, first way is without the additional flap. Um, I think the main reason for this additional flap is to uh, cover up any printing, but uh, keep in mind it is going to add some thickness uh, to the holster as well. So you can put that guy in your pocket as so. A little bit of printing there or you can slap it, that little cover, slap that guy on there and stick it in there. Um, either way, uh, there's different ways to carry. Uh, I also am wearing, just for demonstration, a um, inside the waistband. Uh, this is actually below the waistband holster. I uh, got another video on that. Check it out because I really do like this holster and this option to carry too. Um, so versus that, this is un uh, unloaded. I would never recommend reholstering uh, a, a loaded firearm uh, with either um, holster or you know still in your pants or in your pocket you know accidental um, fire so you know you do have that option um, but we're going over this one today so uh, with this there is some great pocket carry holsters on the market you do have to consider that uh, pocket isn't necessarily the best way to carry um, but sometimes it can be more comfortable or uh, might be an easier option for you to conceal. Uh, this is a Glock 43 9mm. That isn't necessarily a small pistol. It is made for concealment. A good size pistol, um, but there's smaller options. Um, 4 9, like a Kel Tech PF9, a little bit thinner, smaller frame. But I'm saying pretty much, you know, there's smaller options like 380s. And smaller calipers that, that would make a, a much better option for a pocket carry. Um, if you are considering this, this guy sits in the pants as so. These pants aren't necessarily too tight or too loose. Um, just kind of normal pants I would usually wear. Uh, when you have this size pistol in this type of holster in your pocket, it's big, it's bulky, it's it's there. Um, with the additional flap, um, it definitely does cover up any printing and um, makes it so you don't know exactly what it is, but it kind of still does look like a book or a big old PDA from like 98. Um, so you got to consider that, guys. Even with baggy pants, I got baggy pants, I can show you. Same thing, it's still going to print just as much. And uh, same thing with shorts. So, you know, you can kind of see the printing. It's kind of awkward. It looks like you have something big in your pocket. So, you know, a lot of people might not notice, but if you know what you're looking for, you're gonna, somebody's gonna point you out probably. So that is an option. Um, the, uh, the, the, the holster works very well as far as wanting to stay in the pocket. Now with that additional flap, you kind of, if you're going to reach for your pistol, uh, you have to uh, kind of slip your fingers in between the grip of the pistol and that outside flap. But either way, you, you just grab it, finger off the trigger, guard, um, and pull. And as you can tell, nine times out of ten, it's going to stay inside of your pocket because it's very grippy material. It's pulling my pocket out as I pull the holster out. So um, it does want to stay in the pocket uh, both ways. You have your flap, and then without the flap, I think the flap does help with that, uh, but you know, consider that's uh, added thickness too. Um, still without that flap, it is very visible. A little bit more printing of the actual pistol itself, but to go and reach for it, you know, you go and pull out, and, and, and mostly just the pistol is going to come out. Now with any type of uh, pocket holster, I always recommend any type of holster, whatever your system is, however you carry it, always practice. Uh, with this guy, you're going to want to make sure you do a lot of practice time. Dry runs, always practice with the gun unloaded. Uh, you never want to do practices with it loaded. That's just so unnecessary and so uh, unsafe. Um, 
So with this guy, you know, same deal, in the pocket, pull it out. Might come out with the pistol. I've kind of been trying to get it to do that so I can show you. But if it does come out, be ready. Look at your pistol when you pull it out because you can just throw that guy on the ground and you're in action. So it is a cool holster. Um, I personally, for this size pistol or any 9mm or larger, um, my opinion, I'd probably suggest looking at some other options, but for smaller calipers, I figured I'd try it out. I don't like it, but for a smaller caliper, awesome holster. Um, very grippy, grippy texture. It wants to grab everything. Uh, the DeSantis Superfly. So it's good quality, very good stitching, good material. Uh, this model is the 8B. If anybody's looking for the Glock 43, there is a lot of reviews. I haven't seen too many videos though. Just uh, I got it on Amazon and there was a lot of people talking about the bulkiness. So I was like, hey, I'll try it out for myself. But I wanted to kind of get, uh, give everybody a visual, anybody that's interested, to see how bulky this, uh, this holster is. So there it goes. And uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. And like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, guys.